Hello, I'm Kimberly Leopold, also known as Kimberly Health. I'm the owner of Holistic Healthcare Centers, along with the licensed and board certified acupuncturist and oriental medicine practitioner, along with a few other responsibilities there. Today I'd like to teach you about two Chinese medicinal herbs that we often just consider to be weeds. Dandelions are considered a medicinal herb in Chinese medicine, and so are these beautiful violets. Let's first talk about dandelions. While most of us look at dandelions and sneeze, <laughs> or think that we need to get rid of them in our backyard, in Chinese medicine, we actually use them as an herbal, as a form of herb to treat various conditions. Dandelions are called pukong ying, in Chinese medicine, they are considered to clear heat and relieve toxicity. They go through what's considered the liver and stomach channel. They're considered a bitter and sweet herb that is cool. And they are often used to treat abscesses, whether it be external sores such as mastitis of the breast or an intestinal abscess. They also reduce swelling and redness of the eyes. They can be used for certain types of urinary tract infections in Chinese medicine as well. These herbs, of all herbs in Chinese medicine, can be used singularly or combined in an herbal formula. Which brings me to our next herb of this uh, herb for discussion. This herb is called a violet, as we all know. It's also considered zithua de ding. This herb is considered to relieve toxicity and clear heat, very similar to the pugong ying, the dandelion. It goes into the heart and the liver channel. It's considered to be a bitter and spicy herb, and just like the dandelion, it's cold. It too works with clearing heat. It's considered to work with toxic heat. It helps with swelling of the eyes, the throat, ears, breast, intestines, and skin. So it could be beneficial when combined in a formula for a sore throat, for eye irritation, um, various issues with your ears and your skin. Now, I want to be very clear though, please do not go in your backyard and try to use these as an herb. Definitely go to a fully trained herbalist like myself to be able to know how to use some simple herbs as well as you want to make sure that they're they're properly grown and that most often you want to use them within a Chinese herbal formula. Thank you.